Hey loves, so I am going to be doing a haul from the store Common Goods. No Blaine, it's actually Common Room. In the Alamang Town Center Mall in Manila. Um, so these are a bunch of souvenirs I got for the people I love back home. Or Pasalubong, I think I'm saying that right. So this is actually, I thought these were so cute. They come in cans and inside they each have something different. I thought I got one more, but I got these for Kevin's parents. This is a watermelon drink float that you can inflate and put in the pool. And this one is a swan drink float that you can put in the pool, which I thought they were funny and they were cute. And I'm going on vacation with them in July. So I thought I'd put together a cute little package of that stuff. And then I also got them a Sealy growing kit and they come in these adorable little cans i think this is the spicy peppers i don't know but i thought that was cute and i loved the packaging i also got this little travel size bamboo scented doggy shampoo in case kona comes with us i don't know if she is but and then i also got this beach bum handcrafted soap because we're going to the beach and it kind of goes along with the floats and things. I got for my Nona this handmade, these are handmade letter bookmarks. And this one is a little L with a heart charm, a K. And it has a little key, which I thought these were adorable. It's for my mom. They're handmade and in the Philippines. And I know they both love to read. So I thought that was really sweet. And then I also got another K for Kevin's sister, Katie. And it has a little elephant because she is obsessed with elephants and I feel bad every gift we get her is basically an elephant now. By we, I mean me, anyways. I got these adorable serious gentleman bracelets. I'm thinking about giving them to Quinn and Shane or maybe just keeping them because I feel like, you know. No, I feel like they'd wear them, but I don't know. I thought they were really cute. One has, this brand, Serious Gentleman, has so many great gifts and things. This one is like kind of inside out and then this one was just flat. Then I got this card for Kevin because he loves Kanye West. And it says, I love you like Kanye loves Kanye. I was gonna write a little note because he was so supportive and I am always away somewhere. And then I got these little stickers for myself, probably to put on my laptop or something. Then last, uh, the last two things I got from the store. This is a grind money clip. This is for Kev's little brother. It was his birthday and I guess I could take it out and show you. I don't want to rip this though. It just had a really, it's a really simple design but I loved another great product by Serious Gentleman. This one was a limited edition. So if you guys want it, I think there were a few left in the store. This is gonna be a pain in my butt to get back in. Last but not least, I of course got myself something because I have a shopping problem. And every time I go get somebody a gift, and finding something I think is cute or that I think I need, this was a 90s kid mystery, um, mystery kit. Although now I'm seeing it says mystery. I don't know, I said this name in the vlog and everyone laughed and made fun of me, but I was really curious to see what was in here. So, I don't know, it sounds like there's some good stuff in here. Oh, I forgot to go through the prices of everything. Like this can was 119 pesos. The big blow up cans were 350. The little okra that I got for my dad was 120. This was 270, so let's see if it was worth the $5. Nervous to see what's in it, if it's gonna be stuff that I know. Automatically, I know that this is pretty much trash. It's like little glitter nail polish, miniature. I wonder if it's actually from the 90s. That's cute, very 90s. All right, next, our little colored hair extensions. Let's see if I mean, I was excited to unbox these, but this seems like a ridiculous little kit. And I don't know if every kit was the same, that's why 
I was kind of excited to... Oh, looks like we're going for green. They have little rhinestones. They have little rhinestones around. I actually wouldn't even know how to put this like that. Cute! Oh <gasps> Ow! How do you get this? I don't know if you saw, but this is like basically a spring. All right. <sighs> not excited about that, not gonna lie. Next. Okay, this might have just been worth the entire, entire thing. Do you guys remember these? These, I actually have earrings on, but these used to be what you would put on and use if you didn't have your ears pierced. <laughs> okay. This was very, very 90s. All right, those are adorable. Tattoo instructions. Nail stickers. That's hilarious. Also, very 90s. We got nail stickers. Special design tattoos. Oh yeah, we got dragons. Oh, they're all dragons. More nail stickers. Some butterflies. And then paper doll you can dress up with some paper clothes. It just keeps going. Beauty makeup set. I swear they just have all this like leftovers. So like let's make it a 90s kids kit. Create your own style makeup set. Some more paper dolls. Last but not least. A made in Korea bracelet and little earrings. I know Aileen is watching this and being like, Lane, why did you buy that? But you know what, that was cute. Maybe not the things I really remember from the 90s. Don't really remember these, but hair thing, little hair things were like huge here. Um, extensions. But yeah, all right. That was my little mini haul from the store, common room in Alabang Town Center, and I'm no longer in the Philippines, but if you guys go, you can go buy these cute little things. They have such great things in there. If I didn't have to fly home, I probably could have got more things. They had some, they had like a big map I wanted, world map. They had these big wooden pieces of art and Things like, things that would just make wonderful gifts, but you know, I had to fly home and fit everything in my suitcases. So, anyways, thank you guys for watching. See you guys in my next video. Okay. Comment, like, and subscribe. Thanks. No one cares.